A sizable crowd of people from the Mosby Northeast electorate participated in what looked like a mini cultural event at Nine Mile in Port Mosby. This set the stage for independent candidate Thomas Gamu, who is strong on policies. Mr. Gamu described this election as an important one for the people. You've been left out with everything that you entitled to. You've been you know, robbed of your rights to education. You've been robbed to right to meaningful participation in the economy and business. You've been you know robbed with your rights with the land and settlement. You know, so you need someone very capable to uh, represent you in parliament so that uh, you know. It is in your interest that you know you do the right thing now, and and then you can get the assistance from that member. In what appears to be a scramble for rational and realistic policy-driven leadership in one of the country's highly contested seats, Mosby Northeast candidate Thomas Gamu says he has the winning policies to create a lucrative investment climate for this highly populated electorate. He adds agriculture and livestock, dubbed as the backbone of the PNG economy, can be further boosted in Mosby Northeast through clan land user agreement arrangements. Good feather lands uh, within the central province there. We only set a boundary, so I will be uh, working closely with the um, you know, central provincial government to develop many of the areas uh, that are unused uh, at the moment. So that will also um, provide opportunities for the people of Central Province and people of uh, NCD as well. Thomas Gamu is one of 76 candidates contesting the seat this year. Zebedee National, MTV News.